Hello, Facebook family and friends. It's Chris McKee, the nomadic nutritionist, and I'm coming to you from my tiny kitchen in my RV. And we are currently in Montana. We are south of a little town called Darby, Montana, and we're in the Bitterroot Valley, and it's gorgeous. So if you've ever been to Montana, and you haven't been to the Bitterroot Valley, you definitely want to come here. It goes all the way to Missoula, Montana, and it's beautiful. We're camped in a regular campground, which means we're off the grid. We aren't plugged in, we're not in an RV park, and yet we are pretty spoiled because you can run the battery, and as you can tell, they have lights on, we have propane, uh, we have water, so we're set to go. Now, we went fishing yesterday, and we have not been able to fish the whole trip because everywhere we've gone, they've had you know, really a lot of snow over the winter. In Colorado, we couldn't fish. Wyoming, we couldn't fish. The rivers and creeks were just too high. But we're here in Montana, and we're, we came back to a spot we went to last year, and we were able to fish in the same creek. And we had the same results, which is we catch a lot of fish in this little creek. Now, the trout aren't real big because we're not in a big river, but they're certainly good enough for what we call pan-sized trout. Something that we can eat for dinner and there's a limit of three a piece and we each caught three. So um, we're going to go ahead and cook these up. And as you can see, a couple small ones, but then some decent sized ones. And these are cutthroat trout, but they've lost their color now. They're not real colorful, but you can see a little bit of orange down in the bottom down here. And that carries all the way up into the throat area, and that makes it a cutthroat throat trout. And these are, um, that one's a little white meat. The bigger ones have start to get a little pink. So you almost kind of get a little bit of a steelhead or, or salmon kind of flesh as the fish gets bigger. Now, we can cook uh, these multiple different ways, and we have. We have grilled trout, we have baked trout. I've never poached trout. I'm just not a fan of poached fish, particularly. And then there's fried trout. And I'll have to tell you the favorite for us is fried trout. So when you think about frying or you hear about frying, you're probably thinking, how unhealthy. Well, tonight I wanna to show you a way to fry something and not have it be unhealthy. Now, most of your fried foods are gonna be unhealthy because you're gonna be getting them at a restaurant or a fast food restaurant. They're using corn oil, soy oil, um, they're using canola oil. All of those are not good oils, especially soy and corn are genetically modified and a lot of the canola now is genetically modified. Those are heated really high temperatures and when you do that with oil, it really damages the oil and then that oil becomes what we call carcinogenic, cancer causing and also very inflammatory in the body. So most of the time fried food is not a good option on a menu in a restaurant, but when you're making it at home, you have some other options. So tonight what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using avocado oil. This oil will hold up to 500 degrees temperature. And so that's what makes it really ideal for if you're gonna stir fry or do any kind of frying like this. Now, we are probably not even gonna heat it to 500 degrees, but it's really important that you have the oil hot enough to where when your food hits the pan, it doesn't soak up all the oil. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be rolling these and I'm gonna be dipping them in a little bit of egg here, and then I'm gonna be rolling them in something called panko crumbs. We really like these better than we like any kind of breadcrumb. As you can see, they're pretty thick and they, they're, they're gonna give it a really nice crust. And so I'm gonna make sure it gets a lot of panko on there. And uh, tonight, what we're gonna be doing, and here's the panko. So it's a Japanese breadcrumb. Yes, it is wheat. So for those of you who are really strict on your gluten-free, you're gonna have to use gluten-free breadcrumbs. We splurge every once in a while and we'll have a little bit of wheat, so this is gonna be a splurge for us, but we love the panko because it gives it a really nice crunchy crust. But these are available in your grocery store, uh, in oftentimes in the breadcrumb section or also in the Asian section, you'll find panko crumbs. So those are really easily available. So tonight we're gonna to be doing this in a cast iron pan. 
And I always recommend that every kitchen has a cast iron pan because, you know, our grandparents and great grandparents have been cooking with these for hundreds of years. And there's a reason why, because once they're seasoned, things do not stick and you don't need to use a lot of oil. The other thing is it gives it such a beautiful browning effect to your food. So whenever you're browning anything in a cast iron pan, you're gonna get a really nice browning effect. The trout will get really nice and brown and those panko crumbs will get crunchy. Now, if you're gonna shop for a cast iron pan, I really recommend Lodge brand. Uh, there are some out there in made from China, in China now. And they are not, they just don't season well, they just don't work really well. So this is a lodge pan, you'll see the lodge on the back there. Uh, and so I recommend every kitchen has a cast iron pan. What we're gonna do tonight is we're actually gonna take this out on the grill and we're gonna fry this out on the grill. So that's the thought, it's warm today, we don't wanna heat up the kitchen. And so we're gonna take it out on the grill and we're gonna fry it out there. And you can do the panko crumbs mixed even with a little bit of coconut. If you wanna do another type of fish, let's say you have some halibut or something, a little bit thicker fish, firmer fish, we've done that too and we've mixed coconut in there and then we've used coconut oil and boy is that good. We've done shrimp that same way. We've rolled it in panko and coconut flakes and done it in the coconut oil and that's really good too. So just some ideas on cooking fish and frying fish and not having that oil get really bad or using really some high quality oil like coconut oil or your avocado oil. And then tonight what we're doing is we're having a really quick uh, quinoa and rice. And I've showed you guys this before. Last time I was not able to find the organic, so I was really excited. This time I was able to find it. Seeds of Change is a really nice brand. This is already pre-cooked. Now I don't recommend uh, microwaving this. They tell you to do that. I will take this out, put it in a pan, put a little bit of water in there, and it'll be instantly ready to go. So that's what we're doing. And then last night we cooked uh, when it cooled off we cooked some artichokes because again we didn't want to heat up the kitchen and so these are done they're cold we love eating these with avocado mayonnaise so if you haven't tried avocado mayonnaise it's definitely what you want to try with that um, sometimes i use when i have a hot artichoke i'll melt, melt butter and put lemon in there and dip that in there and that's really yummy too so that's dinner tonight and that's going to be pretty fast so we wanted to show you our fresh trout that we caught. We, we know we're gonna catch more. We have 10 days of, we have a license for 10 days in Montana. So we'll, we're maybe gonna catch some bigger ones. We'll show you what we get. And we'll really try to get a picture um, right when they come out of the water because they're really probably, we were talking about this today, the prettiest trout we've ever seen are these cutthroat trout. So here we are in Montana, and then we will be here for probably about another, what, seven, eight days, something like that. We're here for a couple weeks, so we've been here for a while. And so we'll keep coming to you from Chris's Tiny Kitchen. This is Chris McKee, the Nomadic Nutritionist. Bye for now.